Hey everybody, welcome back to another AWAP Wednesday. Today's question comes from one of your fellow chronic babes, as usual, and she's asking, how do you date with chronic illness? How much do you tell somebody? When do you tell them? What do you tell them? How do you make that decision and how do you handle certain complications of dating when you have chronic illness? First, it's completely up to you. I've talked about this many times before on chronicbabe.com. Boundaries are really important and you get to choose how much you're going to tell and when you tell and how you're going to do it. But you may have conditions that affect the shape of your first date. For example, say you have celiac disease and you need to eat someplace that has gluten-free options, you should suggest some restaurants that you know are great that would work for both of you that have gluten-free options. Make it simple. Maybe you have some physical limitations and your date wants to go play beach volleyball. Let's imagine that it's summer, not October, but you can't play beach volleyball. Maybe you want to suggest instead a walk on the beach. Oh, now it sounds like a tampon commercial. When you get more serious, yeah, you're going to have to tell some things about your chronic illness. And in fact, I always suggest to people to be as upfront as possible, as early as possible. I feel like it kind of weeds out the jerkwads because to be real, sometimes people are going to walk away because you're sick. It sucks, but it's the reality. So I always vote for telling as much as you can, as early as you can, and then saving the super, super, super serious details for when you're getting super serious with someone have some things that affect your ability to be intimate, maybe affect your sex life. Be prepared when you start to get intimate with someone to talk about that and be open about it. You may want to practice talking about it. You may want to come prepared with a list of props or accessories that you might need. You're responsible for doing that and the more chill you are about it, the easier it's going to be for your lover to handle it. It's not going to be that big a deal have some health issues that may affect your ability to have kids, you need to get really clear on your paramour's interest in having kids as soon as you can. He may have his heart set on it. She may really want to have a baby or babies. If that's not something you're interested in or can't do, you need to be upfront about that. That's one of the biggest things that can break up a couple next to money. Having kids or to not have kids is a super serious conversation. So as difficult as that may be, if that's something that's impacting you, you want to be pretty upfront about it right away. You know, the earlier you start having difficult discussions, the easier they are. That's what I've found. I don't make a date to have a super serious freaked out conversation. I just weave it into my life. When stuff comes up, I'm open with people about limitations or things that I don't want to do or things that are unhealthy. By not making a big production about it as often as I can, sometimes I make a big production, that's just me. By making it kind of chill and just weaving it into my day to day, it makes those conversations a lot easier and the same applies when you're dating. And then I want you to be prepared for unexpected awesomeness. There are people out there who will love you no matter what, who will not care that you're sick, who will be patient with you and show compassion to you, who will not break up with you when you crap your pants in front of them at a doctor's appointment. Talking to me. There are those people out there who are really fantastic, I promise. And think if you're open and patient with people, they will surprise you with how awesome and amazing and tolerant and cool and normal and chill and loving and incredible they can be. The bottom line, babes, is to share as much as you can, as early as you can, only what you're comfortable with, 
what you're comfortable with, and you will weed out the duds. The great guys, the great girls, they will stick around. They will hear you out. They will love you with all their heart. And the jerks who can't take it, they'll be gone. And that's cool because you don't need them. <laughs> Okay, babes, this has been a fun AWAP Wednesday for me. I hope you are as well as possible. This is sticky stuff. Dating is complicated. I can only scratch the surface here. I cannot get into a ton more details. We'd have to have a much longer video for that. I would love to hear your comments and your advice and your tips and maybe disagree with me and that's cool. I actually want to hear that. I want to have that conversation. So add your comments in the little comments below, whether or not you're on YouTube or on the website. If you like this video, please like it and share it on Facebook and Twitter and MySpace and wherever you are. Share it with your friends. See if they want to join the conversation. The more we are open about all this stuff, the easier it's going to be to move about the world and have people be comfortable talking about chronic illness. So thanks for joining the conversation. I look forward to seeing you next week. Until then, be as well as possible. Mwah. Beep. You don't need to necessarily detail everything that's wrong with you. Nah. <laughs>